Alright. Who's this? Pam. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. <laughs> A wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here. But beware. At night, the monsters come out. <laughs> Why would I... Out of all the ones we've read so far... Why the hell would I choose that one? That one sounds the most scary out of all of them. Like, yeah, you, you plenty, plenty of good land, but just, it's at nighttime. The, the the kraken come out. Just, just be careful. <laughs> don't don't out, don't go outside after after 8 p.m. <laughs> oh, it's Santa. Why's he got a machete above his fireplace? And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. I, I must be adopted. <laughs> there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness why, why is this game hitting me with such real truths we, we just started playing god damn jesus when that happens my boy you'll be ready for this gift damn i look miserable we're at the point like you know like that grandpa was talking about you know we're just kind of in a cubicle not living life just kind of stuck with that, like, wake up, work, sleep, repeat. Just, like, almost, like, I don't want to say meaningless, but it's just, like, tedious and, and void of that magic that you want to feel in life. So I think it's time to open the letter. All right, dear Leroy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed uh, the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Planet Crop Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. All right, so I guess it's time to start farming. That's kind of that's interesting, though, because it's like, yeah, I guess some people do wish they can just like drop everything and just kind of live a simpler life. Even I think that sometimes in life and like, to have this kind of happen in the game, it's, it's real. It feels real, you know? Because sometimes you kind of just want to just feel like to drop all the crazy stuff, all the extra uh, stuff happening, and just kind of just live a peaceful, peaceful existence. Hello, you must be Leroy. Oh, it's Robin. What's up, Robin? I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. And here we are, your new home. Aw, uh, thanks, Gramps. Who's in my house? Who is this? Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. <laughs> Yo, Robin, you got jokes. Don't, don't, be, don't be clowning my, my grandpa's shack, all right? All right? Don't, don't play with me. Krusty! <laughs> not, not you calling my house Krusty. Yo, she just said like five minutes ago, oh, it's not bad with a little, uh, you know, spit and shine. It'll be uh, brand new. Now she calling it Krusty, bro. I'm already, I just got here, already getting roasted. Rude! <laughs> yeah, she's rude, man. Don't listen to her, Leroy. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, cause she, okay, she's trying to sell me stuff. Oh my god, what, what if she's like Tom Nook from like Animal Crossing? Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. I, I never think I, I don't think I've ever had a parsnip before. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe. <laughs> Use your hoe to till the soil. <laughs> Alright, where's, where's the hoes at? <laughs> oh, this is a cool looking house. Who's in here? Alright, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. All right, thank goodness. I thought I'd be the only black guy here. <laughs> All right, what's up, Demetrius? I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? Oh, that's that's his daughter. Okay. You're not good enough friends with Maru to enter her bedroom. Oh my friend, I'm sorry. I was just trying to explore. 
I'm sorry. Oh, who the hell is this? You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom. Yo, Sebastian looks pretty cool, man. He got like that, that, I right, chime in. Like that, <laughs> that kind of haircut. <laughs> Sebastian over there chilling. Playing, playing on his computer. He got a picture of Patrick in his bedroom too, so. Pretty, pretty cool looking dude. I mean, we can't meet uh, Skrillex yet. This whole like town is pretty big. It's a, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So it's, it's a it's a very like vast area. Linus, a stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone in a tent. Oh my god! But like, <laughs> I mean, are you really alone? He's maybe like five feet from like from Demetrius's house. <laughs> like he's like in their backyard, pretty much, in a tent. What's this? Leroy, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. That's so, like, cryptic. So, like, my Grandpa left me a note in the middle of the forest. Just saying, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. <laughs> What's going on, Grandpa? <laughs> what the? What? Grandpa's shrine. What? Is Grandpa dead? Is he a ghost? <laughs> it's a shrine. Why is there a shrine? Now, nah, Grandpa was into some some weird shit, bro. Grandpa was definitely doing some voodoo. <laughs> nah, bro, what's it? Eat more, Morel. Sure, I'll eat it. <laughs> just just eating random shit I find in, in the forest. <laughs> yeah, nah, what what a, what a great start, man. I feel like I feel like I've walked so far. I forgot where my house is. Like I don't even know where my house is at. All right, now the real question is, which way is my house? <laughs> I don't I don't remember which way I have to go to get back home. All right, it's official. I'm lost. <laughs> That's it. Damn, time sure flies. It's only 10, 20 p.m. now. I swear to God, it was just like like 8 o'clock, like 5 seconds ago. Oh, God. Somebody help me. Help me, please. It's so dark. Oh, help me, please. Shane, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Oh, rude. All right, now we know um, Shane's the, the, the town douche. What's happening? Yo, I fell asleep right here on the floor. I'm back in my bed. Wait, I'm down $50. What happened to my money? Someone robbed me in my sleep? Why about all my money? <laughs> Yo, somebody stole $50. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> somebody called the, the Pelican police. <laughs> somebody stole my money, man. <laughs> what happened to my money, dude? I got mail. Leroy, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. <laughs> what? <the fuck? laughs> All right, so I guess if I don't get home by a certain time, I just pass out and I wake up in, back in my bed. You passed out from exhaustion. You got to take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I billed you fifty dollars to cover your medical expenses, Doctor Harvey. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's highway robbery, man. I didn't, I was trying to find my house. First things first is clean clean up the front of the house. Timber! Oh nice. Yeah, I don't want these trees in my in my yard. Oh my energy bar is getting kinda low though. Okay, we need more energy though. Okay, so we have to keep track of our energy while we do these little tasks. That's kinda cool. So the more you work, like you know you're gonna get tired and you're gonna need rest. Feels crazy because I feel like we didn't do that much, but like obviously you're gonna get tired, you know. I feel like we didn't do that much stuff, but oh, it's raining. Oh man, this would have been so good for the crops. Okay. All right, we have only we have 15 seeds, so. Two. I wonder if it's raining, do we need to um, water it? Like, I feel like the rainwater will do its trick, you know? Do we need to water it if it's like raining? Can I dig this? I, I want this moved. Can I dig this up? Let's see, hold on. Oh no, I destroyed it! No! Alright, now we need to go back to the town. Let's go to the town now and let's talk to people. Ah, uh, this, this guy again. 
What do you want? Leave me alone. I'm Shane, and I wear a hoodie. Who's this? Oh, it's George. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> I like George. <laughs> I can just walk in and go behind the counter. Just. <laughs> I can just walk in and go right behind the, the counter and just like, <laughs> hello. Welcome to the hospital. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Oh, this is Marvel. So Marvel works in the in the hospital. This is the guy who stole my money. Dr. Harvey. Yeah, it's him. He's, I, I fell asleep out, outside. He stole 50 bucks from me. Dude. <laughs> ran, ran through my pockets. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Yo, give my money back, bro. Oh, he's, oh look at him. He's like lifting weights. <laughs> he's, he's getting ripped. <laughs> he's getting those gains. He's like, Ugh. Sam, looks like like he's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> Yo, Sam, you mastered Super Saiyan? What the hell? Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Oh my goodness. Who's this guy? <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> Gunther. He looks like a Gunther. <laughs> hello, hello there. Welcome to the Star Valley Arch Archaeology Office. <laughs> gotta, gotta give him a voice. <laughs> uh, it's embarrassing, but the previous creator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts to display. <laughs> but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. <laughs> Alright, Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if I weren't if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. You don't have to do that. Do me like that. <laughs> you don't have to do me like that. <laughs> you don't have to do me like that, girl. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm heartbroken. Haley, how could you do this to me? <laughs> oh no. That's what you got to say? Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'll leave in shame. Oh my goodness. Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. Well, that's okay. I'm Jody. <laughs> Right, Jody's kind of racist. She's like, I, don't know. I, think you, I didn't think you're gonna be black. <laughs> well, I don't blame her. My grandpa's like a white guy, so I, I don't blame her, dude. This that idiot Shane? Yeah, it's him. Screw you, Shane. He's so mean, bro. All right, who's this? Pam. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. <laughs> Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of Star Drop Saloon. Alright, what's up, bro? Hey, it looks like you could use a beverage. You got any Henny? <laughs> oh, what's this? Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. <laughs> What's up, Willie? Here. Oh, he's so nice. Gives, gives me his old fishing rod. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say. <laughs> Your pappy was sus, man. Oh, okay. Oh, it moved. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I don't know what to do. Oh, we have to hold the um the X near the fish. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's go! My first fish. I right, we got a sunfish. Length five inches. I, that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty long fish. I mean, you know, I, I uh, like you know, it's 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 <laughs> it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty sizable fish. It's enough. It's 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 enough to fill you fill you up. You know, it's 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 a pretty that's a that's a decent sized fish. You know what I mean? I <laughs>